For the manual vacuum function, we hit the vacuum key. The machine ensures that there's no pressure in the lines prior to going to vacuum. We're using the same vehicle so we can go forward and we set our vacuum time. We actually want to perform a vacuum leak test, so we leave that on and the vacuum process begins. Upon completion of the vacuum process, well, the machine will then automatically go in and start performing the leak test. To perform the manual charge process, enter on the charge key, we're using the same vehicle, we have the option of altering the charge. In this case, we're going to charge through both sides and that is the correct charge for the vehicle. So we go forward and then we had the option of entering in our die. So yes, we want to inject die. If we actually leave the oil amount at zero, it will inject the exact amount of oil that it removed from the system. If you want to add oil, then we would use the numerical keys on the side. We want to actually use PAG oil, so we need to change that to PAG and leave PO off. Enter, die, we're going to actually inject three mils of die. Do you want to flush the service hoses? No. We connect the service adapters or the couplings to the air conditioning system on the vehicle. Enter. Once the charge is complete, we actually follow the prompts on the screen, close the couple of valves, disconnect the service hoses from the vehicle and press enter. Once the charge is complete, we can open the taps and then start the vehicle and check the system's performance. Once the process has been completed, we have the option where we can actually print out the results. This will give us an indication of the refrigerant charge and the die charge.